good morning. Uh, time for coffee and a chat. Uh, those of you that caught me the other day recall I had mentioned I had some technical issues. And for those of you that understand computers, uh, reinstalling an operating system is time consuming and just a plain pain in the ass. But I did it. it, took me a while, got all my programs reloaded, found all my files, found all the correct pathways, updated all the drivers, did all the necessary shit to make this work. Technology is great as long as it's working. But I'll give you a piece of advice. If you're like me, be careful who you let use your computer because they may not have the same level of knowledge and they may not be as aware of the various little threats that are out there. Anyway, that's that for now. Uh, now I want to speak a little bit about technology and how I see it. You know, having grown up with a disability, you uh, actually have a lot of involvement with technology throughout your life. But the type of technology I'm talking about is this, computers and the ad advancement of social media. Uh, it's the impact we really probably won't know the full impact of that for numerous years uh, but it's it's a two-edged sword I think social media is, is like any tool it can be positive or negative you give a kid a hammer at three years old and say do with it as you want uh, he can destroy a doghouse or he can build a doghouse depends on how he wants to approve it uh, pardon me approach it uh, my concern with social media is it has the potential to dumb people down. Uh, I also have a Twitter account. Well, you know, 144 characters doesn't exactly cover detail. But detail does not seem to be what many people in Canada, or in the States for that matter, from what I've seen, are really that interested in. But as the, uh, the old saying goes, the devil is in the detail and Maybe if you don't know a little bit about the detail, you wind up in the same position we're in right now with a government that was put in there with 26% of the overall population and are moving us slowly further to the right. That's particularly upsetting to me because uh, I spent 30 years of my life fighting for rights. Uh, as a person with a, uh, with a disability, I wasn't even really legally allowed to vote until 1982, so these rights are important to me. I don't want to see them being eroded away. Uh, so let's get back to, uh, or let me get back to the uh, using social media to, to dumb people down because I, I think that's not. One of the ways I think it's uh, dumbing us down, or one of the reasons I, I say it's dumbing us down is I see a real decline these days in people's ability to use critical thinking. Now, um, you know, I know to to many in Ottawa, they don't want us using critical thinking, but uh, it's it's an important skill, and it's one we all have to be uh, careful with. Uh, and as an example uh, for today, I'm going to start a little education program here. Uh, word a day, okay? So, and today's word is incongruent because it's an important word I gotta take this uh, it's an important word and it's one that we don't seem to be paying a lot of attention to because it's happening the incongruency is happening all around us and we're ignoring it let me give you an example <coughs> you know one of the uh, big buzzwords uh, we've been hearing um, quite a bit about in the last number, well, last year or so at least, uh, from the federal government and from other uh, various levels of, of government is this tough on crime approach. Okay, uh, Prime Minister Harper, you know, one of his main platforms was tough on crime. There wasn't a lot of detail, just tough, on tough, just tough on crime and we're going to spend $9 billion on new prisons to deal with all of this unreported crime. Uh, for a party that's tough on crime, the incongruency here is when you look at, uh, for example, Senator Doug Finley and, and Senator Irving Gerstein, uh, both, both sitting in the Senate, 
and both being investigated by the RCMP for election fraud going back to 2006. Uh, there's also two senior conservative advisors, uh, Michael Donison and Susan Cahill, that are being investigated for the same thing. This is a party that is tough on crime, and yet the Prime Minister has done nothing about these people. Uh, he also had Bruce Carson working for him uh, for a number of number of years off and on. Uh, Bruce Carson, you know, was uh, he was disbarred by the Law Society of Upper Canada back in the 80s for defrauding clients. Uh, the summary of his uh, disbarment findings against him, and this was in 91, said his fiscal position had deteriorated due to a land development project in which he'd become involved and in due to an extravagant lifestyle. Okay, the latest was just recently where he wanted his girlfriend to have a large percentage of the profits from something he was encouraging funding for from the federal government. So with this crazy history, he's still brought back by the Prime Minister and worked as the chief policy analyst and troubleshooter for the PMO's office from 2006 until 2008. Okay, you've got a guy here with a with a crazy history. I think he's actually had five or six charges in his history. How does he get into a position like that where he actually has, he's, he's privy to information that many of our MPs weren't. That's incongruent. The message just isn't right there. Uh, let's take a look at Mayor Ford. You know, here's Mayor Ford, tough on crime again, and yet he wants to cut 5% from the police department. You know, there, the incongruency there is, Tough on crime, but we're going to let police go. I'm sorry, it doesn't make sense. That's incongruent, but we're not looking at those things. The general population isn't paying attention to those things. So that's the word for today is incongruent. I could give you a lot of other examples, but I'm not going to bother right now, uh, of where there are incongruencies within government. Check it yourself. Do a bit of fact-finding. As I said, that 144 characters with Twitter should only be opening the door. That's not exiting the building. That's giving you enough information to start doing a little bit of research and looking for details. All right? Uh, so that's our word for the day, incongruent. So that's going to be it for today. Now that I have uh, all my programs loaded, I can start doing funny, crazy little things again. But as I said, today's word for the day was incongruent. Remember when you used to look that up in the local newspaper, word of the day? Uh, we don't do that anymore. Should be doing it. Uh, but pay attention. I'll be back. I got more things to rail on about, but I'm only going to do so many uh, at any given time. And today, while the sun is out, uh, I'm going to go out and enjoy a bit of that because... We got hit by one hell of a shitstorm last night. In fact, I had two inches of water on my deck, concrete deck, 16th floors up. It's, uh, it's taking a while to drain out. Uh, and they say we may get hit again later this afternoon, so I'm going to go out and try and enjoy a bit of the sun. In the meantime, uh, hang in there and have a good day yourself. And uh, just uh, remember... Don't bring me problems, bring me solutions. Uh, it's up to you. And for those of you that are, you know, really into the social media, the under 30 crowd, uh, let me encourage you to vote because you're also the lowest voting group out there. Well, here's a little word for you. Uh, if you want that older generation dictating your life for the next 20 or 30 years and how it's going to look for you, then you just go ahead and keep voting the uh, voting booths. But if you want some say into what's happening here, because believe me, you're a lot more powerful than what you think you are, uh, get out there and vote. This There's nothing I can do about it is not, a, is not the correct answer. It's not the attitude to have. Uh, you can do a lot about it. And, and voting is only the start. Uh, Registering your, your 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 right to democracy by going to the voting booth is only one aspect of maintaining democracy. It's not the only way. Yes, the vote is one way, but it goes beyond that. We have social media really gives us access to uh, our politicians today and to each other. The, the communities on Facebook are amazing. Check some out. Uh, in the meantime, 
I'm going to see the sun or enjoy the sun. Talk to you later. Have a good day. You're out of here. Bye-bye.